own farm is 1,200 hectares. It's in the West Highlands, seven miles north of Fort William. And we look on to Ben Nevis, and we have uh, the Caledonian Canal running through the middle of the little arable ground that we've got at the bottom here. Drone Farm runs to 2,800 feet and we run 500 North Country Cheviot ewes and 40 breeding limousine cows. The farm would have, I think, about 80 acres that are actually ploughable. There are probably another 100 acres that is a little better land and apart from that it's all hill. It's a tenanted farm and we've been working with the Lochiel family and tenanting the farm off them eh, for 45 years now. One of our aims at Strone is to up the number of cows. And the only way we can up the number of cows is to grow more grass. And how do we grow more grass? Put the sheep off the grass earlier. Because we are basically wanting to have our cattle, right? The sheep in the spring are, are right in the way of the cows for silaging and for grazing. So they keep us back for five weeks in the spring. So since we've moved our sheep to Inverness, our weaning percentages have increased from 37% in our last year to 97%. So we feel that the extra lambs is more than worthwhile doing it for. Our livestock policy is, an, is something else that has evolved. So we now have a herd of pure limousines. They calve easy. They are able to adapt to our system because sometimes they're not on grass like what we're looking at here, they're out of glen and they're on quite poor herbage. But these animals are able to keep their, their conditions. They'll get back in calf. They'll, they'll probably milk a little less. So the calf will be slightly poorer when it comes in, but a little bit of feed and they jump, they come away. Our ambitions for breeding is to not go anything extreme. We try to keep all the attributes. For example, if you go for lots of muscle, you're cutting something else out. So we don't want to cut anything out. We make all our own winter feed for them, so the grass we grow feeds them summer and winter. What we've been trying to achieve in breeding our herd has been to look at EBVs of the bull that, that we're about to purchase, looking at the EBVs of its dam and its dam sire. Our herd's calving is not the usual. We calve all the year round. But it's not because we can't get them all in calve at the one time, it's because we want to utilise the grass when we've got it. We sell our calves at about 10 months of age in Dingwall, Oxen Mart, and we'll be averaging about a 950 to 1,000 pound. We're trying to increase the herd size at the moment, so we've kept quite a lot of heifers this year. My father's main aim in the farm is to hand on to me a better farm than he took over, and I think he has. And my main aim would be to keep that going for hopefully another 20, 30 years and hand on to my son or daughter a better farm than I took over. And with the Monitor Farm and learning new techniques and discovering new grass seed mixes and, 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 and different technologies, I think we'll have a fantastic chance of doing that.